Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you one really simple and easy way how you can add a flying particles effect to your images to make them even more interesting. So without further ado, let's the fun begin. Alright guys, to add a flying particles effect to your image you need first to create a custom brush for it. And for this one I will basically use a Photoshop default brush just with slides adjustment. So to do that, I will first go to brush, press B on a keyboard or just go here, select the brush and press F5 on a keyboard to go to brush settings right here. And if you watch my previous tutorials, you already know what are those settings for because I change them uh, oftenly. But let's go first to the brush tips uh, shape and I like to increase the spacing because let's create a new layer because I want to have a big space between brush strokes to have those particles. I don't like so soft brush so I will make a little bit harder brush for this and this is much better. Right now that I increase the spacing maybe I can increase it even more let me see that's a little bit better. I will go to shape dynamics and here I like to use the size jitter all the way up to 100% now I will have some variation in size so I will have better looking particles. Next thing what we can do right here is to go to scattering to scatter the brush strokes a little bit. So this percentage depends again on the image size and the feel of the particles you want to make. So the best is to experiment just set something and try how how it looks all right and I like to make a count to maybe three or four depends again on taste and just try and see if this is okay for you. This is not bad actually and maybe you want to add this transfer option to add some opacity jitter to add uh, opacity variation between particles. So you can do that. I will set my to maybe 30 or something like so and I will have some variation in opacity between, between those particles and that's what I like to do. Again, you don't need to copy exact settings here. You can experiment and create your own version because again, that that's depends on the image size and feeling of the particles you want to achieve. Alright guys, if you're using a tablet and a pen with a pressure sensitivity, then you have a bonus option here. You can control your brush size with a pen pressure. So to enable that, just go to shape dynamics and go to size jitter control right here and change it from off to pen pressure. Let me show you how this works. Let's hide this and let's delete everything of the particles. And now I can make particles smaller and bigger just by changing the pressure on the tablet. And if you're not using a tablet and a pen, don't worry, you can still create a great effect just by using a mouse. Right now that we have our brush ready, let's go and draw some particles here on the screen. Something like this and maybe a few more smaller ones and that's it. And now we need to add some outer glow to our particles and we are done. So to do that, I will first rename this layer to particles. Right, and now I will double click to this layer to open layer style dialog box. And the only thing what I want to check here, as I already said, is the outer glow. So let's go find it's right here, check it. And as you can see, we already have a nice result. On the right side, you have a blend mode, so you can change to any of the blending modes that you want. And if you're not familiar with the blending modes, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. And blending modes that works the best for this kind of effects are screen, color dodge, overlay and soft light. Of course you can check uh, more of them and those blending modes basically depends on the image and the taste of the effect you want to achieve. So maybe for this image I think the screen works the best as you can see this is really nice and we have some sliders here we can change the opacity of that glow, we can change the size of the glow, make it smaller or bigger again depends on the feel and the taste of the effect. We can change the range that's basically the softness of the edges and so on and so on. We can play with the spread and the range to have some different effects like this, but I like for this image to leave it uh, spread to zero and maybe maybe like, like this. And we are done. If you want to save this and to have it ready for other images uh, really quickly, we just go, we need to go here to new style, click on that and rename this to particles. All right, you can rename it to anything that you want. I will uh, include layer effects and include layer blending options. I will not add this to my current library and I will press OK. And I will press OK right here and that's it. Now if we delete this effect and 
go here to window and styles or just go here and check this FX option. The last one uh, is that one that we created right now it says particles, just need to click on that and the effect is ready. Of course, now you can go to the same layer and draw even more particles if, if you want, they will have the same effect because they're on the same layer. If you want, you can create a new layer and just add a few more particles and then go right here, click it, and that's it, you have the same effect. Of course, you can always go uh, double click on the effect and go to outer glow and change size of the glow or the color even if you want maybe this one to be different color or maybe more reddish. I don't know, something like, like this maybe. And you can change even the blending mode to maybe color dodge and that's it. That's completely up to you what kind of effect do you want to achieve. Right now you can merge everything together and then apply a color correction on the top of it and you can use anything for that. For this example I will use Luminar. I will go to filter Skylum software and use Luminar. And guys Luminar just released a big update with a tons of improvement, faster response and so on and so on both for Mac and the Windows so you can go uh, and check it out, the link is down there in the description and of course if you want to buy it you can use my coupon code, it's Nemanja and you will get really nice discount. So let's go back to Luminar and I will add some filters right here. So I will go and choose this professional tab and I like to add advanced contrast and I will play with the highlights like, like this and with the shadows. I'll make shadows brighter and maybe Maybe like, let me see, like this. And I like LUT mapping, so I can choose one of those LUTs, maybe Manhattan. And yeah, this is really, really nice. I can boost the contrast or lower the contrast. Let me see, saturation, we can boost the lower, maybe something like, like that. And we can go and change the amount of the filter, but I will like to leave it like that. And I will add one more thing that's Vignetting, let's go here, vignetting, and add a little bit of that too, and feather it, and that's it. I will press apply, and this will be applied as a new layer in Photoshop. So this is before and after, before and after, really, really nice effect. And guys, as you can see, this image looks much better with those particles. Maybe they are too big, maybe I should create smaller ones, but that's again up to you, up to your taste. and. Uh, depends on the projects you want to create. So before and after, before and after. Right, let's go to another image and let me show you I already create some particles here so you can create a bunch of them around the model, you can even change the color and so on and so on. This is model before, then I add the particles and I went to Luminar and add some effects, add some filters and this is my final version. Right, let's go to another image, we have a watch right here and we can make this image even more interesting if we add a new layer, use the same brush with those particles and let's first add the effect right here on the layer, okay? And now we can create some great effect with this, maybe like, like that and as you can see our image is already much interesting than before. Again, I can go double click on Alter Glow and change this from screen maybe to color dodge and have this crazy effect inside, but white particles and so on and so on. If I put it to overlay, I will again have different one and that depends on the taste. Okay, let's go to another image. This is really simple image. Happy new 2019. It's not yet 2019, but it will be. And by just adding some particles at the top of it, you can really make this even more interesting. Let's first add this effect. Now the outer glow is too big, so I will go to outer glow and make it smaller like this. And maybe right here something, and we already have much, much better image. Of course, guys, if you want to write something, to write a name or uh, any kind of letters, you need to go to brush properties and go to brush tip shape and change the spacing lower the spacing and maybe the scattering to lower the scattering. Now you can write letters with this, love, love, like this, or anything that you want. Of course, you can experiment with that, maybe make the scattering bigger and the spacing a little bit bigger. And now you can go and say, maybe a heart or not a really nice one, but like this and so on and so on. 
All right, let's go to another image. And here, as you can see, I already made an elephant. Like this is really sloppy and quick job, but just uh, for you to know that you can create things like this. You can create some particles in the shape of elephant out of the book. And I will show really quickly how you can do that. I will choose another image, this one, and I will add this dragon as particles flying from a book, for example. And to do that, we first need to transform this dragon to an outline path. So there are a few steps that you need to follow, but they're really easy and fast to do it. I will just add a new layer uh, between the background and the dragon and fill it with white, just for you to see what's going on here on the screen. Actually, I will choose not white, but some color, maybe red, just to see what's going on. Right, let's go to dragon and let's convert this to an outline. So to do that, first let's go to filter, stylize and find edges. Now you can see that we have black edges with white uh, fill inside. So we need to get rid of this white fill inside. To do that, we can go to select color range and click on the white, not on the red or any other color, but white, choose the fuzziness around 100 or so and press OK. And just press delete on the keyboard to delete that white color and press Control Command D to get rid of the selection. Now we have this dragon as an outline. Okay, I will just hide this. You see why I made this layer in between because we cannot see now those outlines really hard to see. All right, but now we need to convert this outline to a path. So to do that, we need to load the outline as a selection, press Control or Command and click on the layer on the dragon and go to paths here and click on this icon here. This will create a path out of this selection like this. Now let's go back to layers and we can create a new layer where the particles will be. Let's rename this particle. Okay, and now we need to make our brush ready for uh, our dragon. So to do that, let's press B on the keyboard, go to brush and let's see, now the brush looks like this. We need to go to properties, F5 and maybe to change spacing, bigger or smaller. Let's see, scattering, I like to change count to one. And let me see now it's better, but I need to change maybe the brush size to nine or so. And I think this is okay. If not, we will need to repeat this process. Maybe we need to go to brush tip shape and reduce the spacing even more. Not bad. So this will be the brush, how the dragon will look. Maybe spacing even more and make a smaller brush like four or so, five, let me see not bad five or six this is okay All right now we need to go to a pen or just press p on a keyboard right click and set uh, click on stroke pad and choose a brush from a tool choose a brush and just press okay as you can see we have something let's press delete to delete and uh, um, pen outline and we have those particles now we need to go to our fx tab and load this go to outer glow double click and change the size of the brightness of the outer glow, like, like this maybe. And that's basically it, guys. We can create a new layer now and change our brush maybe a little bit bigger. Let me see. And now we can add maybe like this. Add and copy this effect. To copy the effect to another layer, just press and hold Alt or Option key and drag it to another layer. And that's it, we have this crazy effect, of course, this is not perfect because we need to adjust this brush a little bit more to make, uh, for my taste, I will make the spacing between those uh, strokes a little bit bigger and maybe variation in scattering. But this is how you can do it. And now it's up to you to practice and make it much better for your examples. Right, guys, that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. Now it's up to you to practice, experiment, have fun, be crazy with this effect, add those particles to your images and make them even more interesting. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.